anyway uh yeah so whoever was asking i don't uh about like have you ever commentated a game that you don't know yeah dude they fucking put me on those shitty ass mystery games all the time too i commentate games that i don't know all the time it's almost like they want me to do that i recently commentated combo breaker for moron combat and i did their mystery games i barely know anything about moron combat anymore I haven't played it since comp since fucking um, Jensen, right? I think Jensen was no Tanya. Around when Tanya came out, that's when I kind of stopped playing that one. Poison with one hit? Oh, never mind. I forgot that walking around downstairs poisons you. Is there a schedule up for attorneys you commentate? No, I'm going to a CEO and I'm going to Evo, that's for sure. And I think I'm going to Summer Jam. I don't know. But yeah, I really like doing commentary. It's one of my favorite hobbies. <clears throat> but you know, it's also, at the same time, it's the hardest thing that I do. To me, doing commentary is really tough because, you know, I, I always want to do a good job. And it's easy, you know, it's easy to do, right? But doing a good job is hard. That's what, that's where it's at. You know, being clever and sharp and quick-witted and uh, charismatic, it's hard to do that. Especially when people tell you to, like, hurry up, do it now. And do it for four hours in a row. That shit's hard to do. You know? But. It's cool. Depends on schedule. Depends on game. Oh, the most important thing is co-commentator. Man. Commentary can go from being just a total joy to being a fucking nightmare depending on who your co-commentator is. If I'm chilling with someone cool that I know, that I get along with, and we're like genuinely having a conversation, watching a match, that is what I like. But if I'm with some low-tier fucking guy that gets too hype or, you know, I don't know, there's sometimes you get really bad matchups, and that's the worst. I hate it when I get put up with so much shitty. Thankfully, um, um, what's it called? Lord Rick the Hadoo. You guys know the Hadoo. The guy who runs Combo Breaker. He put me with, he always puts me with great commentators. He always does that shit. He always schedules me with like the best people. He's the first guy that ever put me with Seth Killian. Uh, and then they had me do Street Fighter 4 commentary at EVO with Seth Killian. That was cool. And that was when Punko took off his shirt against that random guy. That was sweet. Any old random schmuck could make Punko take off his shirt. Uh, oh yeah, Ultra David and Katana Prime. That guy's cool. I like him. Um, and that guy... Um, Dave Lang, that guy's cool too. Rick just, he's good at like uh, that kind of thing, I guess. And of course, Markman. Markman and I have been doing commentary so long, it's like, sometimes it's like you just want to sit down and watch Tekken with the guy. I like watching Tekken with Markman. And Rip too. I think Rip's commentary uh, is like at its best with me or with Rickster. Like he's really good when he's on Tekken with me or on Tekken with Rickster. And a few others too, but I can't recall who. He he's he really needs a good co commentator to really be like on point. Did you com did you ever commentate with Yipes? Yeah, I did actually. I I had the pleasure to commentate with Yipes at Yumacon. 
And, you know, I wasn't... I talked about this before, but... I wasn't sure if that would work out too well. I've always been a fan of Yipes, but... You know, I didn't know if he and I would mesh well. He's kind of got a lot of flavor, if you know what I mean. And, you know, it's like intimidating sometimes. So, I didn't know if I would... Uh-oh. Damn it. Oh, man, overboard. I'm in trouble. Oh, there's two of them. Okay, be cool. Compose yourself. Get cornered. So yeah, I wasn't sure if it would work out, but it actually worked out quite well. I think he's just really good at being a cool, cool guy. Doesn't matter how much flavor you got. He's just a cool, nice guy, and he's good at commentary. He's good at, like, uh, being apt. He gets into it. That's really a big, important factor when you're commentating. You gotta be into it, because if you're not into it, then nobody's into it. And it's your job to make sure everyone else is into it. And the, the hard thing is, sometimes there's nothing to get into. That shit's fucking whack. So as a commentator, you gotta, like, turn shit into gold, you know? And sometimes there have been commentators that are just so good at doing that. I remember there was this one routine that, uh, you guys know Derry from NorCal and Magoose1234? Those guys were commentating a NorCal Regionals one time, and the guy playing his name was Divinicus, right? The guy's name was Divinicus, and he was just a total scrub. Like, he was just no good, right? But they were, because the match was boring, I mean, it's a boring match. Two scrubs. One of them's named Divinicus, other guy's named whatever. It doesn't matter. But they started pretending like Divinicus was this hella good-ass player, like... Like, this guy, you guys don't know about Divinicus. He's a legend, right? And so they started doing this routine and just talking about how good this Divinicus guy is and making all this shit up. And during that, they would say shit like, oh, man, Divinicus putting himself in a situation, blah, 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 and they're just pretending like he's getting fucked up on purpose, you know, like classic Divinicus giving away the first two rounds, blah, blah, blah. That routine that they did was so good in my eyes, that, that, that's why I say classic Divinicus to this day. It's a homage to that routine that those guys did. It was perfect. I was really entertained during a match that sucked. The match was trash, but they were entertaining me during a shitty match, and that's why I remembered it. I was like, wow, they're doing a good job. It's funny, though, you know... Uh, both Derry and Magoose1234, they substantially changed their commentary style since then. But very clearly. And you know, I talked to them about it, and at least Magoose1234, he, I think, clearly made a definitive change. He was like, I want to be more esports, and he cleaned up his commentary a lot more. I wonder why. Vanderseeman. I don't know, I mean, he changed, he changed his style. Anyway, how's it going, Vander Seaman? But I preferred it back in the day when he was a little more edgy. He's a cool dude, of course. I've known Magoose for a while. I met him and Lord Haunts way back, I don't even know when, 2009 or some shit, when they came over to Charles' mom's house and stayed there for a couple days when they were visiting for that tournament. Remember they had that tournament at Dungeon's Dungeon Arcade called Sun Route Cup. Dungeon Arcade had a Sun Route Cup tournament and all these dudes were here from NorCal and Lord Haunts and Magoose1234 were staying at Char's house. That's when I met them. Ancient history. But anyway, as far as commenta commentating games, I don't know. Yeah, it happens all the time. I have fun with it, though. Thankfully, I'm good at just bullshitting and, you know, it comes pretty natural for the most part. But like I said, it's pretty important to have, you know, good co-commentators that go well, mesh well.